What's going on guys? Don't mind the mess that I got around my kitchen today because I'm trying to finish up my son's bedroom before he gets back. So I wasn't going to do a live video today, but I figured, fuck it, I'm already here, I'm already making this, why not continue with it, right? So we're going to do a carbonara. This is a fresh pasta that I just made. Took me like five minutes. It's really easy to make pasta. Don't ever buy box pasta, black pepper pasta. Like I said, we're gonna do a carbonara, which is essentially what we got in here. It's pancetta. And pancetta is a uncured pork belly. So how Americans do bacon, the Italians do pancetta. And it's uncured. It's generally unsmoked pork belly. This one just happens to be uncured. But, like I said, they generally cure it. So I got some English peas over here. Fucking spilling in my water. My pasta water. So I'm blanching these off. So they're nice and soft. And these will be the last things that go into our carbonara. So let me go ahead and get a bowl and just stick these bad boys in. So what's going on, Scylla? Sean, what's going on? What are you guys doing for dinner? Anybody else that's watching? What are you guys doing for dinner? Like I said, this is a carbonara. And we've got that black pepper pasta like I told you about that I just made. We've got some shaved Parmesan cheese. We've got two whole eggs. We've got some sliced garlic and that pancetta back here. I'll show you guys how to do one. This is one of those dishes that I am hit or miss when it comes to because it's so easy to break this egg yolk, because it's an egg yolk pasta you use as an emulsifier, like you would with the chicken stock and water and butter, chicken stock or water and butter, um, like I've showed you guys before on some vegetables. So it's very easy to break, but it's really good. You know, and if it breaks, if you catch it, you can add just a little bit of water, because if it starts to scramble, you might as well just throw it away. However, I'm not serving this to the public, you know, so if I was fucking up that bad and I scrambled the eggs... I would for sure not serve it to the public, but since it's just me and my wife eating, it'll be fine. So we've got those English peas, like I said, hanging out. We're just waiting on those, waiting on that boiled or that water to boil. One of my favorites. Yeah, I mean, it's one of my favorites to eat, um, but it's, it's definitely a pain in the ass. You've really got to pay attention to, to what you're doing. Oh, speaking of, I was just up at your shop, man. If I would have had a grill, my grill's set up. I've got the grill in the garage. I just haven't broken it out yet and set it up because we're trying to do the backyard. I would have bought some of those outstanding looking prime tomahawk steaks. And I was talking to the butcher in there, man. That was an outstanding price because usually when we were getting those in the restaurant, they're about $22, 21 to $22.99 a pound. You had a great deal on those. So you guys are in the Deltona area. I don't know if they have any left. I know they're closed now, but get up to Fatbacks for those prime tomahawk steaks. If you guys are a friend on my regular page, you can go and check out one of the ones I just shared, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So we're just waiting on these peas to get done, and then we're gonna put this thing back on the oven, we're gonna drop our pasta, we'll drop some garlic in here, and then we'll really start getting to go. Right. Let's just see. Yeah, they're about done. So they don't take long. So plus, they're a little under, like I said, that residual heat. By keeping it in the bowl, we'll be fine. Now fresh pasta, fresh pasta goes really, really quick. So like I said, this is an egg pasta. That's why it's a little bit more yellow than most of the ones I've done before and I've showed you. And this is about two cups of flour and then about four uh, egg yolks and then two whole eggs. And that is the recipe for that and then about a tablespoon's worth of olive oil and then about a teaspoon and a half worth of salt and that's it for that black pepper pasta all right so like i said we've got our pancetta in here which is the italian's version of bacon 
That's uncured. Like I said, you can get it cured, uncured. They just happen to have it up at Publix. So, start bringing this pan. And usually I'd toss the garlic in here. But, I think I want to cook some of that pasta. Let it coat that fat that's in there real well. First pasta don't take long, about two minutes. Especially when it's room temp. Just got done rolling it out, letting it rest, letting it hang out. So, make sure we start breaking that up. <clears throat> Just add a little oil to it. So, like I said, what's everybody doing for dinner tonight? What do you guys making? I see Eric is having some wine. Not a big drinker. But I hear a lot of people like having wine, especially at this time of the week. So much shit going on, stress and whatnot. Like I said, this pasta's almost done. It's beautiful. So like I said, this is black pepper pasta. Carbonara really holds up quite well to black pepper, so yeah, it's about two tablespoons worth of black pepper in there. You won't really see it too, too much. That's the part where I like adding the Parmesan cheese. What I also like doing, is I haven't showed you guys before, is I like taking, instead of a stock, take a little bit of that pasta water. So that's when we'll add our peas. Go a little bit more cheese. And most people don't know this, the carbonara, like a lot of people think that carbonara is a cheese dish or a cheese pasta. It's actually egg yolks and egg, whole egg. So, and it's the reduction of water with the addition of the egg, which emulsifies all of this. So you want to get it nice and hot. Get most of that liquid out. You take it off the heat. And then while you're... Let me actually do it with this hand because I'm right-handed. Hopefully you guys can see. I'll try to do it in... Right? So you take that egg and then you start whisking back and forth real quick just so it doesn't break and scramble. take it off the heat so it doesn't start to scramble. A little bit more cheese. And like I said, don't judge me if you see my if you see my kitchen right now. Like I said, we got a bunch of shit going on. We just got back from the grocery store. Wife was hungry. She wanted some carbonara. So we made some carbonara. Right. Let's see what kind of bowl we got. Actually, we might just use this nice little black bowl I just got. Like I said, look at that. Boom. Get our tongs. We're off to the races. Was a quick impromptu carbonara. Let's actually wipe that bowl. I'll obviously take a better picture uh, when I do mine because I don't like this bowl. It's just too much pasta. You don't really get to appreciate that fresh pasta, that noodles, but bucket smells good. Sorry if you guys are allergic to the F word. Let's use four today. Not very much time, but. It's Thursday. It's crazy. Uh, you know, what's going on, Bryce? What's going on? I can't pronounce your name, so I'm not even going to try. But thank you for watching. If you guys did not know, I think I put it out in the post that Ropa Vieja won. Ropa Vieja is a Cuban dish, almost like a Cuban style pot roast. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. Hey, dinner's done. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. Um, make sure you guys check back later for that and 
will be on probably around 6 o'clock, 6.30, somewhere around there. It just depends on how I feel tomorrow. Um, but just know we're doing Ropa Vieja tomorrow. Sorry about the little lens frame looking very majestic and holy right now. Um, please, we're almost at 2,500 people, so don't forget, like, share, follow, and subscribe. If you guys have not done it, please do it. We're almost there. Thank you for sharing the photos. Please share the photo that I'll show in just a little bit. I'm going to take a different one because I just didn't like it in the bowl that set up. Um, thanks for spending a little bit of time. Hopefully this was something you guys wanted to see. I know a couple of you guys. How is it? Yeah, let's go to one to ten. Yeah? Yeah. God damn it, nailed it. Um, so, uh, fuck, what was I talking about? Some people were asking about it. Oh yeah, some people were asking about it. This is a quick video. Um, I've already showed you guys how to make pasta. I showed you guys the ingredients we were really working with. So it's something really easy you can throw together. Doesn't take anything more than a watchful eye and a steady hand. That's all it really takes. So, come back tomorrow when we have our Ropa Vieja. I'll do uh, the... Arroz con pollo sometime later. Um, I still got to do the jambalaya first because they won the previous week. And I'm going to come up with something. Oh, it's going to be Greek. Next week is going to be Greek. Um, it's going to be a toss-up between spanakopita, which is filo dough. Uh, there's feta. There's spinach. There's a whole bunch of different stuff in there. What's that? Onions, garlic. Onions, garlic. It's a whole bunch of different stuff. It's uh, very, very good. Um, and the other one, oh, shit, I think it's dumales or something with a D. Something with a D. It's a stuffed grape leaf. So it's going to be a toss-up between those two. Um, and that's the one I will put on for everybody to vote what they want, one or the other. And I'll actually post a picture of what each one looks like because I know some people just have never had Greek food or some people just don't know what Greek food is. But these are probably the two biggest dishes. Um, we're at a Greek restaurant today. If you're in uh, Lake Mary area, go to Greek Villages. My wife and I is one of our favorite places to go to in Lake Mary. Um, we've been there going on, what, 14 years now? 14 years. We actually had our first date uh, there before we even started dating. Um, we had it there. And then we try to go as often as we can. Um, if you guys are in the Lake Mary area, like I've said, a lot of you guys are that listen to me in the central Florida, Lake Mary, Seminole County, Belushi County area. Please go and support Greek Village. Outstanding place. Great people. Always a great time. So we had lunch there and that's what I'm going to do next Friday. So it's going to be up to you, which whether you want to choose the spanakopita or the other word that I forgot how to say. I don't want to, so don't, if you're Greek or, you know, Jess, Evie, you're watching, don't hate me. Um, I'm trying. So uh, those will be the two, let me turn this water down so I don't evaporate everything. Those will be the two dishes we do next week. So they are fantastic. Mark, how are you doing? Um, but yeah, that's it. I got to cook my dinner. Thank you for spending 15, 20 minutes with me, whatever it was. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.